Good Monday morning, everybody. It's Lisa here with the handmaidens, and we are out in my little shed with my little sheep. It is a whopping eight degrees this morning. I am just finishing up some of my farm chores, homestead chores, um, feeding the sheep, checking on the ducks and the turkeys and all of that. I had finished my checks on the lambs to see if they are lambing, which is something I have to do a few times a day now, uh, as I talked about in the previous video. Um, in the previous video, there were some questions um, that I would like to answer. I am so um, happy that uh, people responded and are showing some interest in raising, possibly raising um, dairy sheep. Uh, so the question, I got a question about um, the gestation. How long are sheep pregnant for? So they will tell you that it is for um, dairy sheep, or any sheep, it is 142 days to 152 days, right? So it gets a little tricky because, uh, so you go, you have a calendar, you want to keep everything in track on uh, when the, the U is exposed, and then you count 140, 152 days, and you mark possible lambing. You also want to mark 142 days, okay, as one of your lambing days. Then, when you have a U who is a lamb U, you can expect for her to uh, lamb one to two weeks prior to that. So then you need to count back seven days from the 142, make a possible lambing date then. Then uh, it gets even more tricky to kind of catch your date uh, because then you have things as to how many lambs they're carrying. If they're carrying multiple lambs, they will, because of the weight and the stress on the body, um, I can totally, I, I know this happens. I was pregnant with twins. I had twins and I went early. The more babies in the belly, the earlier you will go for the most part, right? There's always those exceptions. So it really makes it kind of hard to figure out um, when the exact date is going to be. So you put yourself on a watch, right? You start looking for the signs and the symptoms of uh, physical changes in the U, which I discussed with you briefly in the last video. I was running a little short on time. Um, but it was, we were looking for, we were looking at the, their, their bags. We were looking at their bags to see how soft they were, if they were starting to uh, drop from their body, become soft, and their, uh, their teats, their actual udder will uh, start to extend and become larger. So those are physical changes along with the egg shape around the center area. Those are the physical changes you are looking for to also help guide you as to when uh, the lambs are going to come. And why this is so important of when you need to know, I, I know it's like, don't animals, weren't they out just roaming the world and, and uh, just have their lambs and do all of that on their own? Yes, yes, they can. But because we are in a cold climate, um, you really want to be there the day that the lambs drop. You want to be there because they're going to need assistance. And I, I want to go over some of the things you are going to, materials you are going to need, items you are going to need that are going to help along for a successful lambing season. Uh, you know, you can't control nature so much, but you can at least feel as though you're assisting along, right? So uh, I will get, after we finish these questions and answers, I will uh, 
get into the things you will need for your lambing, your first lambing. So, um, with the with the amount of days, with that question, and I thank you very much for that question. For people who don't know, um, uh, I, I like that I was able to answer that for you. The answer really is you have no freaking idea, right? Because there's so many different things. So you're you're kind of looking. Uh, you start with the 152 and then you start counting back and all of those are possible delivery dates. Uh, our, our rams jumped the fence and it, we, they were exposed Hi. on October 16th. All of the girls were exposed. Did something happen on that day? I don't know. I wasn't home. I came home. I was helping my mother uh, doing some housework at my mom's house while she was at work. And I came home to all the rams in the in the used pen. So we have to use that date as our first date. Except for when I talked to you the last time, there was that possible random day in the beginning of September when one of the girls was exposed. So I also have to use that date. So there's really where it's a complete guessing game as to when this is going to happen and when we are going to receive our lambs. So, I thought, since this is so chaotic, and this is our first time, and we are so excited about this, I thought it would be fun to make a little game of it. So, if you would like to join me in the guessing game, uh, I say, why don't you comment below on when you think, given all of the information I gave you, when do you think Clover, who seems to be our biggest girl, uh, is going to lamb? And if you guess it right, and you guess the twin, you know, if they're going to be a singleton, twins, triplets, um, you know, put that in there, comment down below. And the one who gets the most information correct on the guessing game will be able to name our first lamb. Also, you will receive uh, our first uh, batch of soap. You will receive a sa samples of what we are making with the milk. That will come four to six weeks after our first lambing. So please, <laughs> let's get together and let's have some fun with this. If you think that you know somebody that would enjoy engaging in this little challenge too, um, share this with them and let's have a little fun, right? So now that we've gone over the amount of time of when a lamb, a you could lamb, let's go over some of the things you might need for that lambing experience. I have that outside and I'll go over. There are a lot of things you can have, but these are kind of what I feel are the must have. So let's go on outside uh, while these girls finish up eating their hay and I'll go over some of the things that I feel um, are important to have. Excuse me for my stuffiness. It is very cold and I am actually getting over a cold. Oh, oh my goodness, they're coming out. Girls, you've got to go back in. Look at this, girls, no, 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 no. Hi, girls, hi. Come on, let's get back in. Oh, you, the boys are calling you. Come on, let's go, let's go. Here, sometimes they get out like this. It's okay because they come right back in. They love it. Pretty soon our uh, fence will also, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Pretty soon our fence will, see, they come right back in. Look at this, look at this. Hi, girls, come on in, come to mama. Yeah. Hi, my beautiful girls. Hello. Now I have to figure out a way to sneak around them to shut the door. Girls, come on. No, 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 no. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. How are we going to round these girls up? Okay. Girls, come on. Oh, and they're off. I see what happened. The hay's dropping out. Huh? Everything's so frozen. It's been the coldest. 
winter I can remember in an awful long time. Just set this down. And the lock seems to be jamming. There we go. We got it. We're in. Okay. We got the girls all locked up. Now, let's come on over here under the pavilion. And I have brought out some stuff so we could talk about what is going to be needed. So, oh, everything's a disaster. It's nonstop over here. Sit down in this very cold chair. Make some space. Let me grab my little Come on in a little closer. We'll sit out in the freezing cold and we'll talk about things we are gonna need for our lambs. So the first thing you are gonna need is I'm actually going to give this, this is a CD, CDT, I don't know, it's probably going to show backwards, right? That's CDT, it's for all types, this is our, a vaccination we are going to give to the moms this week. If you would like to see how that happens, comment down below and we'll make a video of that too. Uh, so we give that to the, to the U's four to six weeks before they're gonna lamb, but because all of this is happening so quickly, just getting it into them is the most important thing. Then after the lambs are born, we give it to the lambs four weeks after the lambs are born. And I can show you that too, if you'd like. Just comment down below anything that you wanna see us do and we'll make a video of it and bring you along on that too. Okay, so CDT vaccinations, we're vaccinating the moms first before they even lamb. That is the most important thing because then it gets into their system, and when they have the colostrum, the the their antibodies are in there, so so the the lambs are protected while they're very vulnerable until they can are big enough to receive their vaccinations. So next thing you're gonna need this is a scale. So this one I got this one because. It was a lot cheaper. There's, there's, these are hanging scales. So you put a uh, fabric under them and you put the lamb in there and you hang them from the scale and it tells you how much they weigh. And they have some that go up to 250 pounds, um, which is like the total amount that our breed of sheep generally get to at full size. So you wouldn't need another one. Um, but this one goes to 70 pounds. So this will do, this will definitely do our lambs so that we know how much they weigh. Uh, knowing how much they weigh is very important for things like uh, if you're doing, we're doing dairy sheep, but if you're doing meat sheep, you would want to uh, know how much they weigh for, so you can improve your flock because you want the biggest lambs. It's also just good to know their hardiness, right? So we will be keeping track of their weights also for amounts of medication and feed and things like that. So it's very important to know their weight. So you're going to want to scale. I picked everything that I have is from tractor supply. I picked it up yesterday. I actually was going to take a video, but I had all the kids with me and it was just crazy. So, um, there's a few things that I ordered online that haven't come in yet. I'll talk about them. And maybe I'll do an update when they show up. So, but let's just stick with what we're talking about now. This is a scale. You want one of these. So we have, next we have, um, you are going to want, what do I have here? Oh, a lubrication. Okay, so lubrication is while you are delivering the lambs for the mom. So you're going to put this on the mom, especially for yearlings they're going to be you know that's very everything's very compact and very tight so you want to help them out you're going to want to have 
uh, the lubrication. We also have here, these are OB gloves. All right, so these gloves, these are not just regular, you know, plastic gloves. These go all the way up to the shoulder because you're, you, we don't want to, but it's unfortunately a fact that there are going to be some that you're probably going to have to help. You put the lubrication on your glove and so that you can go up in and help assist delivering the lambs. So next we have, let's see, what do we want? Oh, towels. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. <coughs> towels. One of the most important things you are going to need, and you are going to need so I only brought out one. You are going to need so many towels. So if you don't have any old towels lying around and you only have your good towels, maybe ask around, see if anybody's getting rid of some towels or something like that. You are going to need so many of these. You're going to want to pull out their, um, they're going to have a lot of mucus around their mouth and stuff. You're going to wipe their mouths off with it. You're going to rub them, let the mother lick them off. I'm going to hopefully get this on video for you guys, but, um, with it being so cold, you're really going to want to have to, you know, dry them off quickly because they, they can't be that wet. So you're going to need a ton of towels. Uh, another thing you're going to need is, um, let's see, what do I want to go with now? Okay. So we have a bottle here. All right. They have packages of them. I found them on Amazon. They were a really cheap. I just wanted to have this just in case something happens before my, um, order comes in because you want the, the nipple. Now the farm that I worked on we had, we would just screw these nipples onto water bottles and soda bottles. So we didn't even have to have this bottle. Um, and it was like, I think it was like a pack of 10 for like five bucks. But again, I wanted to make sure that I had something on hand. So I picked it up yesterday. So you're going to want the lamb, the lamb, um, size nipple for, um, for your lambs. Now you might be saying, well, why do you need this? Because the mother produces the milk, right? Well, unfortunately, sometimes the mother will reject the lamb. Sometimes the lamb will not, um, take to the mother and maybe really weak. So another thing you're going to need that I do not have is like a syringe with a tube because sometimes you have to tube feed the babies where you put the tube down and, and make sure that it's in their stomach and get it in there all the way so that it can get down into their stomach. And you are going to then, if you can't strip milk from the, the classroom from the mom, you are going to need some colostrum replacer. Okay. These are, these are very important things that you were going to need for the just in case. All right. So this is, has quite a few bags. Um, save a lamb. This is called save a lamb. You mix one packet. It has its, uh, per four pounds body weight for one packet. So again, that's why you're going to need to have your scale, right? So that you know what the heck is going on. Um, very important, very important to have very important because they need, they need that nutrients. Now, another thing you're going to want to have is, uh, this is I want to look up a recipe to make this on my own, but this is my first time. I just, I don't want any, any surprises, right? I want to know what it looks like first. So, so this is, uh, this is called sheep Nutrigent drench. Can you see that? And this is for moms and for the babies. So if they're starting to fade and they seem very weak, and kind of lethargic and they just go then they can they can go down so fast you just you you read the instructions on the back um as to how much to give when to give uh and it, it's all right here so that again is the sheep drench okay and something oh oh yes so this is iodine. Now I try to, do you see? 
they have it in a spray form with another uh, ingredient in there to dry it fast. This is for their umbilical cords of the lamb because that is where you're going to get a lot of the bacteria and the germs are going to enter in through their umbilical cord. It's a very vulnerable spot. That is why you really have to right away clean up their umbilical cord areas. Now, because I have it in this form and not a, a spray, I could get a spray bottle or a little like Dix Dixie cup and you tip the lamb back and you put it, dump it on their umbilical cord and you really need to watch that site. It's very important that you do. Also, I think I went over everything that I have here. Um, I also have more waterers. You're going to want a lot of waterers because you're going to be sectioning, sectioning off all of the, the, the mom and the lambs so that they're not just out there with your, with the rest of the flock. Um, East Frisian lambs aren't, or ewes aren't really known for their great mothering. So you kind of want to keep them together the the baby and the mom so that they'll bond and maybe hopefully pay more attention to the use and and the need that the 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 the, the, the lamb needs so it's really important that you section them off and find a space for just the the lamb and the mom mama and baby need their bonding time it's very important so uh, the last thing that I feel is a must-have that is coming uh, along with the syringe, with the tube, is uh, a, a lambing log breeding journal. Um, it's so that you can keep track of, I, I don't care, we only have the three moms now, and um, like with all the dates, and, and uh, you're going to want to, it's going to get so chaotic even with three are two you, you're gonna you're gonna forget things and and the, that information is so important for uh for your flock to know how much they weighed how many babies they had were they boys were they girls um so you really need to keep did they go early were they good mops all of that information is so cr crucial for proper flock management. You are going to need to know all of that. So get yourself a logbook. Mine is coming um, because that it's just, it's so important. You really, really need that. So that's all that I have right now. I, I will write down my list and um, you can go off of that list. I, there's tons of other things that maybe you feel as though you want. And by all means, go get that. I'm not saying that you can't have those things. I'm just saying that this is, I'm just letting you see what I have chosen for my lambing kit. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. And if you want to play along in the guessing game and win a bar of soap, sheep's milk soap, and... Uh, have the opportunity to name our first lamb. Please comment down below all of the um, the day that you think our girl Clover is going to lamb and how many lambs she has. Uh, I think it's going to be really, really, really fun. And uh, click that subscribe button so that you can follow along on things, updates that I have here on the homestead and all of the other handmaidens magic. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.